everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. Got a horror anthology on deck for you today. This one's not out for public consumption yet, but we have the honor to take a look at The Monster Mash. Yes, this is not so much based off of the song, uh, but instead uh, this is a horror anthology uh, that is a send-up, an ode. Uh, it's just uh, giving uh, uh, homage to uh, the uh, old creature features we used to get back in the day, especially those uh, that were uh, introduced by a horror host who we have here. Now, The Monster Mash is uh, directed and written uh, by Kevin uh, Losani and uh, Richard uh, Tarassi. And uh, we get uh, this story, the wraparound story of Dr. Freudstein, or would that be Freudstein? Uh <laughs> It depends on who you might ask. But the doctor is working on an experiment with his assistant, Ludwig. And while he's working on it, he gives us three short films. Each film is involving a creature of some sort, and each one has its own unique story. And we see how each of these three movies play out as uh, the good doctor makes advances on his experiment on the table. Uh, and that's how it plays out. Now, these three, as I mentioned, are definitely definitely different. We first get Whispering Hollow Road, and uh, that has, uh, we, we get introduced to, well, actually the film opens kind of like this Italian thriller of sorts. We get the gloves, and uh, you know, you don't get to see anything from like the chest up, and uh, it, there's a, it involves a camera, a film camera, where we see like the first uh, kill through uh, the uh, eye of the camera, and it's very it done in the style it felt anyway of Italian uh, thrillers, and, and I liked that quite a bit. And then it takes kind of an interesting turn and moves more into maybe uh, Twilight Zone the movie uh, mode in this. And yeah, we've got a guy who picks up a, a female who's stranded on the road, her car broke down, and well, this guy is a bit sketch, and he's got a plan of his own uh, for uh, this person he picked up, but little does he know the person he picks up also has a plan. And we see how these plans collide at its conclusion in a wonderful, gory, well done makeup effects at the end of this short. I, I loved the design that we get. There is a creature in it. There's a creature in one of these, a bit of a spoiler, but as you gathered from the name, uh, and uh, the creature in this one, I loved the design. Very old school, yet didn't look hokey, really. Uh, it did feel uh, old school, and, and the, the wonderful gore effects in here as well. Uh, you can tell they're taking advantage of being an indie film. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but yeah, I loved how the story and the turnaround plays out in that uh, short film. And then we've got The House, where we get a couple uh, who's expecting a child, and they want to get a house rather than the... Um, rent from their apartment anymore and they they seem to find a house that uh could work for them but they don't exactly like the location little do they know the house has a bit of a dark secret to it as does the owner and while they are uh, stuck there uh, for the evening uh things uh, come to a head and secrets are revealed uh, yeah another one where I was surprised at the care they put into the practical makeup effects in the creature in this one. Did not expect it to look as good as it did in all honesty because especially for what they were doing, it's hard to pull off. But here, they pull it off. They do use a little bit of uh, visual uh, uh, effects in here, but mostly it's all practical uh, uh, makeup effects and gore effects and it all looked wonderful, even though it's done in a darkly uh, lit room in, in some spots. Uh, so yeah, it really excellently crafted uh, the house and I, I it was interesting how it played out. I thought I was going to predict how it was going to end and he surprised me. Uh, and also a surprise was ho uh, Homebound Horror. Now Homebound Horror gives us a story of a Marine who's falsely accused of being a guy who ripped off a crime lord in the town he's in. The guy just, the Marine just arrived and well, he ends up getting figured and something nasty happens. But, uh, yeah, karma is a bitch, and it shows its ugly, bloody head in this one with a bit of a paranormal twist to it uh, of sorts. Um, uh, yeah, uh, it, well, I shouldn't say paranormal more so than uh, extraterrestrial. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't sure where this was going at first. The way it opens, we get a wonderful villain in here. Don't get me wrong. This crime boss guy is like evil upon evil. I love this guy just eating up the scenery, just chewing it up and and eating it by the handfuls and all all the better for it uh you know and then uh, the guy playing uh, the marine victor played by uh roshad uh, milner i thought he did great in this role played it the way you're supposed to uh and especially as things progress with this really impressed by the performance here uh by this uh, gentleman as well as uh, tim whalen who plays sheriff somerville that was a storyline I was like, okay, why did they include this sheriff storyline in here? Uh, and I think it was to add a little bit of an extra of a human element, a little bit of heart to it, a little bit of emotional tug, especially uh, when you get to the ending. And uh, I, it was effective. It was definitely effective. Uh, yeah, so all three of these shorts, folks, uh, really have wonderful practical effects. You could tell care was put into them, uh, skill was put behind them and they're well done directed shorts and i even like the wraparound story with freudstein uh, though that's probably the weakest of the story we don't get a whole lot of him though as it is mostly focused on the three shorts so there you have it folks please uh check out our patreon if you haven't already i highly recommend you find the monster mash when it finally hits public consumption i'll put as much details as i can down below look for my interview with uh kevin lasani and richard uh, tarasi uh, later this this week going to be an interesting conversation of uh, to be sure and also like bells whistles and subscribe here and help us get to 2500 subscribers or more by the end of the year can only do that with your help thank you for your support and until next time remember keep that ticket stub mm -hmm.